puts a woman that is vocalizing and standing on the idea that she don't need him. The foundation of a man feeling like and operating like more past y'all feelings. Ask a nigga, who told y'all that niggas want bitches that don't, that need them? I don't give a fuck what it is you make the nigga feel like he needed for. Men want to feel needed. Y'all be telling niggas y'all don't need them. Y'all be telling other people y'all don't need. Y'all be telling y'all self y'all don't need the nigga. Like in, ma'am, ma'am, that's not correct. It's not correct. And a lot of niggas is not going to tell y'all this. This is why I'm saying it. Newsflash, bitch. Most niggas is not going to say, hey, don't say that. I need to feel needed. They're not going to say that. As soon as you go to talking that I don't need a nigga for shit. Or I don't need, like the post said, well, how you like fumble a woman that don't need you for nothing. They just want you. They don't need nothing from you. They, a nigga immediately, they mind start going in the direction of finding, mixing with, sleeping with, mingling with a bitch that's going to make them feel needed. And this is why a lot of y'all in situations where the nigga still fuck with you, but he fuck with somebody else too. And some of y'all, the nigga fucking with two or three of y'all. And all y'all saying the same thing about not needing a nigga. And that's why all of y'all getting fucked and left. And re-fucked and left. And re-fucked again and left. And I don't mean left like left you somewhere because you know you don't need a nigga. I mean fucked and left alone like a nigga is not trying to build with you. Like fuck and left like that nigga got some pussy and left. Like that nigga be there to get whatever he can get in the moment and he be getting fuck with her but i fuck with her left like i go over there and get some of that pussy but the bitch really be saying she don't need a nigga and this shit ain't really going nowhere like that but i'm gonna keep hitting that shit like left like yeah i fucked her yeah we got a baby but i ain't trying to do nothing with her and y'all be sitting up you don't want your family nigga don't want no bitch that don't need them and then you raise the kids up to believe they don't need a nigga Every nigga on here gonna tell you I'm preaching gospel right now. I don't know who told y'all that shit. Stop telling people that. Even if that's how you really feel, stop saying that. It's self-sabotaging to relationships that you trying to have. Nigga will not physically leave, but he left your ass, bitch. Soon as you started with that, you don't need a nigga. Niggas want to feel needed. Again, listen to my verbiage. Feel needed. I ain't saying you actually got to need the nigga. Meaning like you could actually be able to pay your bills if he don't help pay them. You could actually be able to take care of your kids financially and physically if he don't help. You could actually be able to maintain yourself as a woman if he don't help. Meaning you don't actually need it, need it. But a nigga don't want to know that. A nigga don't want to see your independent skills. A nigga don't want to see your ability to go get that rose and fuck your own self. A nigga don't want to see your ability to raise children by yourself and keep all men out of the... A nigga don't care nothing about that. Who told y'all this? Nigga don't care nothing. Y'all be, I pay my own bills. I do this. I do. A nigga don't give a fuck about none of that. Where do I fit in this, bitch? What am I needed for? Because if you can do all this shit by yourself, I'm going to just get me some pussy and slide over to the next bitch house. I'm going to just get me some head and go around the corner with my homeboys. I'm going to just slide through and get a plate and eat and go back over my mama's house. Hang out with my family. Move in some circles where I feel needed. 
A nigga don't want to see your independent skills. And it's the first thing y'all be doing. Showing niggas how much y'all don't need niggas. And then be wanting a nigga. Like you want a relationship with a nigga. And you go about it by showing niggas how you don't need niggas. How you can fuck yourself. Pay all your bills. Do everything by yourself. Think for yourself. Operate for yourself. Process for yourself. And then you wonder why the nigga is not taking a relationship with you serious. Who told y'all to say this shit out loud? Like, I know, like, that post I seen earlier, it sounds good to a simple bitch. But to a bitch that really know what's going on, and to a real ass nigga, I don't want to hear my bitch talking about, I don't need anything from you. I just want you. I just want to be with you. Honey, I just want you. I just want your presence. Just come over. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. I don't need you to help pay any bills. I don't need you to help be present in the kid's life. I don't need you for anything. I just want you just for you. You know what that sound like to a nigga? A setup. Because as soon as another nigga come around that you just like him for him, I can be replaced. You're going to give up that pussy. You're going to be in his face. Because you don't need a nigga for nothing. And the shit you said you need me for, every nigga got that. The flesh to be a nigga. The body, the dick, the presence. Any nigga can come over here and just be here. Bitch, I need to know me. Who I am. My age. What I am to you. My skills that I needed in this equation. This shit is silly. I don't know what to tell y'all from here. This will really be a downfall for y'all in relationships. This really be some self-sabotaging ass shit. And this is what I be talking about when I be saying, get in your feminine. Y'all be trying to lock niggas in by showing them that you don't need a nigga. And you wonder why the niggas don't conform to that at all. Nigga taking you out, you trying to pick up the whole check, pay for your shit. Tell him how you do everything by yourself. Who told y'all this? It's like going to a job, like interview for a position and they telling you how the position already feel. Yeah, you're here for the cashier position. Come on in, sit down. You know, why do you want this job? You go to tell them, they go to tell you, well, we got plenty of cashiers. We really could check out everybody by ourselves. We really got everything covered. Everything's covered. The shelves stay stocked. Everybody gets checked out in the time. What the fuck y'all need me for? What am I here for? Oh, no, we still want to hire you. But everything's covered. Everything's good. We still want to give you a job. But everything, and then when I get in this motherfucker and don't do nothing, because y'all told me in the interview, everything was fucking covered. You didn't need me. All the lines check out smooth. You don't need me. So then I come in this bitch, and I just stand around. I got my uniform. I'm standing around this motherfucker. No, I'm standing around, because y'all bitches describe to me a scenario or a scene where you don't need me. So I'm here. Y'all work here. Y'all ask me not work. Y'all work here. I don't be doing shit, though. Yeah, I'm fucking the bitch. I don't be paying no bills, though. I don't be getting her ass shit. Hell no, I don't be doing all that talking. I ain't finna be doing all that arguing with a bitch. Bitch don't even really need me. For real, for real, the whole good. I go drop dick to get a nut, but the bitch be online talking about that rose and how she please herself. Fuck I need to do. Buy the kid, I ain't buying them just shit. She said she can do everything by herself. Fuck I need to buy anything for her. If you already got it covered, what the fuck you think you're going to get out of the person by telling them that? Shit don't make no sense, do it? It's crazy how a bitch give y'all a simple analogy and you start to realize how dumb as fuck that shit is that y'all be saying. Who told y'all that?
Niggas is not going to tell y'all this. You can get on here and butt all you want. I see somebody type a paragraph. I'm not going to read it. It's not going to get read. Niggas is not finna tell y'all this. And some niggas will sit there and encourage your ass. Like if I'm one of them niggas that I really ain't trying to put in the effort with this bitch anyway, I'm going to encourage that hoe to be more independent. Yep, yep, do it, babe. Do it. I-E-N-D-E-P-E-N, pay everything. Ain't nothing on me, E-E-E-E. Make it easier for me to get free pussy up out you. Yep, you don't need a nigga for nothing. I'm going to come through for that nut, though, because I need it, though. And you going to get up. Because low-key, you really want a nigga, but somebody done told your ass wrong. Telling y'all some G-ass shit. That analogy definitely hit like a motherfucker. Who the fuck?